All right, how do I make a good ad video? The best ad video, okay? Um, that's what we're gonna talk about right now because Black Friday, Cyber Monday's coming up. I couldn't be more excited about it. You've probably been watching my videos. I'm fucking pumped, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just start something on my computer here real quick while we jump into this. You'll understand why I'm looping back to this in a second, but how do I make a good video? now? Everyone says this bullshit answer, to be honest with you. Um, just take someone else's video, toss your logo all over it. Um, you can rebrand some YouTube artwork, and, and, and that's how you make your videos. No, that's, that's horrible. That's a horrible way of doing it, you guys. That's horrible. People see through that. People see right through that. That doesn't work. They're like, oh, I've seen that somewhere before. Huh, weird. Mentally, they might say that. They might actually think that, but... They know subconsciously that they've seen that content. It's like using those really, really um, popular uh, public images that you're allowed to use, the, the free stock images. And it's like, ah, I've, I've heard that music that everyone uses in their ads. That's mm, weird. Um, you're just, you suck at that point, okay? I'm just being honest with you, it sucks. So what you're gonna wanna do, you guys, you're gonna wanna understand the niche, first of all, okay? It's fine to do those generic things like that I was just talking about if you're testing a product. And I mean testing for like three days. Being like, oh, am I getting people to my website? Am I getting maybe a purchase? Am I getting some interest, some likes, some comments? Great, you can do that. That's fine. That's what I do. I don't buy every product and make these tremendous video ads and spend a day making an ad for this glass bowl that's a phenomenal selling product for me. If you can find it, try to sell it. You won't be able to find it. Um, that's why that's a great product to sell because you won't be able to find it and this product is selling right now. Uh, sweet, that's your hint, but go ahead. If one of you guys finds it, post a link in there. Everyone can sell it. There's no chance that someone will find that. Um, so let's jump into my, my computer here. Uh, do I want to jump in? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll jump into it. Okay, um, simple. This is how you're going to decide how you're going to make your ads because the text on the ads, everything matters, but what is it? Like, if I'm trying to sell it to millennials and I'm selling a, a gender styled product, am I allowed to say that in 2019? Uh, if you're selling a female based product, okay? Uh, wow, Jared, that's horrible. You can't say that word anymore. Um, that's fine. If you're selling a product that's tailored towards a specific gender or age group, okay? Um, you're gonna have different tactics that you need to use. That's marketing, that's marketing 101. If I'm trying to sell to grandmas that quilt, I'm gonna probably write different ad content. I'm probably not gonna swear in my videos. Uh, I'm gonna treat them a little bit different. I'm gonna use some older style music, maybe some hits from the 60s. Uh, with That's that 50 year gap, so it's not... You're allowed to use it now. It's public domain. Remember that for your ads. You can use music that's 50 years old. Go ahead, use it all. It's awesome. There's some bangers. Um, but I'm going to actually have to make my ads. Okay, so what am I doing right now? This is how you guys are going to decide what ads you're going to use. Okay, I'm pulling tons of ads. Okay, I'm going to show you what I'm doing in a second here. I'm going to stop. Uh, I'm going to exit this. It takes a little bit to refresh here. But I do this a few times a day. This is a demo account. I do this a few times a day. And this is how I decide how I'm going to make my ads. Okay, so I'm in my big edge. This is a program. Uh, check it out if you care, if, if you like this concept. It saves me a lot of time. And I've got all my ads, and I'm going to rank them by engagement um, from 100 to 0. 100 engagement is an ad that our algorithms picked up, and it's been like, hey, that's a good ad. That is a really, really good ad. Okay, so let's click one of these ads. Uh, this is a video ad, image ads, image ads, right? This gives you a pretty good idea. So uh, which one do I want? Let's go to this guy here. Um, let's see what this is. Indestructible shoes. And they got an interesting gift for it. That's a uh, big tactic. Okay, look at this. Sweet ad. Indestructible shoes. I, I, I know the uh, owner of this company. They kill it. This is a huge company. And it's funny because these are drop ship shoes. Like I can go and buy these. And, and this guy kills it. He's an awesome guy. I don't want to name drop right now. Phenomenal guy. If you're watching this, shout out. You, you're a good guy. Uh, you publish some bomb content. You're, you're a beauty about that. Um, look at this ad. Okay. So if I'm going to sell these shoes and I want to sell these shoes, this is a sweet ad that I should do. It's got 100% engagement. Now, what, what does that even mean? It's the share to comment ratio. It's the likes. It's the comments. And this looks through and tries to find fake engagement, okay? Um, so that's that's a great example, okay? Let's go with uh, this guy. Uh, the fastest way to make videos. This is a, actually a company that gives you video content. Not a big fan of promo, but they people buy it. People like it. I, I don't know. I, to me, it just seems so cliche. I think still making your own ads is better. Okay, let's uh, let's click this image ad. Okay, what's this about? 
From Facebook ads to MailChimp, this is your guide to digital marketing in 2019. I care about this. This is an ad that I should replicate. This is right up my industry. Look at what they do here. The course that teaches you the full stack of digital marketing. Full stack's like a programmer term, okay? It's sexy, it's cool. Great, entrepreneur.com, big name behind it. Gonna be tough for me to acquire that kind of engagement when entrepreneur.com's using this, okay? So maybe I don't do that. But that's not a free stock image. Notice that, that's not a free stock image. That's an image that they took. So using their own imagery. So rip people off all you want to begin and start and test. Sure, I don't care. That's not gonna find you success. That's why I don't care if people rip each other off, okay? All of these ads you're gonna notice that are these 100% engagements. These aren't ads that I've been like, oh, I've seen that before, right? Have you seen this ad before? The functional backpack. Uh, let's take a look. I can honestly say, haven't seen this ad before. They made this ad. That's engagement ads, you guys. If you wanna actually be good, there's no ripping it off, there's no half-assing it. Buy the product yourself, get it shipped to your house. That's a short-term solution, okay? Stealing content is a short-term solution. That's why I don't care when people steal my content. It doesn't work like that. Facebook is not stupid. YouTube is not stupid. Instagram is not stupid. They don't say, oh, Jimmy all of a sudden has the same content as Jarrett. Oh, weird, Jimmy probably had it first. No, they're not dumb, okay? Um, look at this, these are all original pieces of content. So what I do to decide how I'm gonna make my video ads is I focus on my niche, I use my big edge, I scrape my Facebook like crazy, uh, cause it's so easy to do. I literally just open the Chrome extension and uh, I hit start analyzing, scroll automatically, and I let it do its thing. If you have good Wi-Fi, click accelerate. And I let it do its thing. And it pulls all these ads for me. I don't look at them every day. Maybe I do this three times a day while I go to the bathroom, really. Like I'm going to take a dump. Hey, I'm gonna leave this up for 10 minutes. That's simple, 10 minutes. Uh, more like 35 minutes. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, that's good. But uh, that's what I do, you guys. And then I come back every couple days and I look and I just look at the 100% or 90 plus engagements and I get some ideas from it. I go, oh, hey, I'm selling bowls. I see that home decor item. I could make a video like that. It's not hard. We all have cell phones, chances are. Um, hey, my iPhone's got a 4K camera. You're watching this video. This was filmed in 4K. It's not the top of the line iPhone either. There's better iPhones. Um, you probably have a camera that's good enough, right? 2K, probably good enough. Great, push those ads. Facebook usually doesn't even let you have 4K ads because it's too much space. Um, push that, now film that, Rec, rip, rip their idea, do the exact same thing with your own content, your own music, and publish that, okay? Now you're gonna get rewarded, you're gonna be able to manipulate your content. Take their structure, people don't understand this, okay? Take their structure, I'm gonna come back here, I'm gonna refresh this, let's see, um, it might take a second. Let's click this one. Look at their structure here, okay? Um, this is a phenomenal ad. Okay, we can all agree on this. This is cool. What is it doing? It, it made me watch it a couple times. I really liked it. Okay, great. Um, let's click another one. Rockstar, we know that's gonna be Grand Theft Auto. Cool, but we can't replicate that, so I'm not even gonna get my hopes up. What is this one? Uh, seven figure marketing copies. Again, this is more, rel oh, I'm not ranked by 22. That's a good ad though. That's a brand new ad. Um, that's a good ad. I don't care what people say. That will be a good ad. Um, so let's check this out. Okay, what do we got here? Mood rings, sweet, other people have sold these, but look at how well this ad's done. This looks great, it's sexy, it's cool. It gets my interest up. I can see multiple things at first. Three million views, holy shit. Um, in an industry that is dense, com competitive, like the fact that they're getting three million views, this guy is making money on this, okay? He's making money, look at this. Um, let, let's rip off his site quick, let's go uh, best-selling products. Let's go take a look at what his best sellers are. Uh, okay, that's his best-selling prop. Are you kidding me? Holy shit. 350 bucks he's charging for this thing? Holy shit, these things are legit. Okay, let's say I found this product, a similar product, probably won't be able to. Um, holy fuck, this guy's killing it. I'm, I'm gonna subscribe to this guy's store. I wanna subscribe to see everything that this guy's doing because that is, that is bananas. You guys don't realize how big that is. Um, and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna actually take this product, okay, because now I'm like, hey, I found my ads, I found a style of ads. Uh, I'm gonna take this product, I'm gonna hop to my big edge real quick, gonna go to store subscriptions. This is where I'm gonna track everything that he does. I'm gonna click this download by CSV, hit copy paste on his URL. Uh, I'm gonna hit the word great when it pops up here because my download's done. 
and uh, uh, phone died. So I'm gonna take that URL of his product. I'm gonna hit download CSV. I'm gonna hit paste that URL in there. I'm gonna hit okay. I'm gonna hit great when it's done. I'm gonna open up this CSV. I don't even have to open it. I can go right to Shopify and click products import. Um, and I'm gonna dump this CSV in there. This is his whole product page right here. You can see everything. Whole product page descriptions, pictures, you name it, your product page will look very similar depending on your theme, right? Obviously, it's going to format a bit different, but it'll have everything, photos, uh, alt tags, you name it. Great. Now, I've got his page. Um, so, now I'm going to make some ads for this product. I have his ad that I was looking at, right? Uh, my big edge. I have his ad that I was looking at. I'm going to try and make a similar style ad to that. And get a push list because that's cool. That's that's how you make winning ads now. Okay, you take an idea that's proven successful and you make it your own. You do it again. You make your own. Don't think that you can just use other people's ads and, and have success. That's not how this works. You're gonna take their ad. You're gonna make your own. Same exact version. Same format. Copy everything. You have six rings at the beginning like he did. Then go to one ring and then go to a guy wearing it and it's glowing like. That's what you need to do. That's how you create successful video ads online today. Photo ads, tough. Don't, don't focus on them too much. Retargeting ads, fine if they're photos. Photo ads is a cold lead, tough. Vicious space, works for a few products. But again, I, it doesn't work for every product. So if I look at this and I go engagement 100 and I uh, click a photo ad, okay, these are big names. I don't know what Toonly is. Um, these are big names though, right? Okay. Uh, maybe I can get away and I can find one within my niche that's a photo ad, but look at all these ads. They're 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 fo they're videos. All this whole page, videos. Um, this whole page, videos. This whole page, videos. This whole page, video. Video ads are just better, okay? Just don't even use photo ads. It's not worth it for retargeting even. I, I don't recommend them ever, 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 period. Take the time, go on Amazon, find the product yourself, buy the product, whether it's from AliExpress, Amazon, buy it, express ship it, pay the 100 bucks to get it here instantly. Then you can make your video ads. Black Friday, Cyber Monday is coming up. Make good video ads. That You will succeed. It's not hard. The fact that it's not as easy as it used to be, you should be pumped because now if I put the effort into making a video ad, I stand out like a sore thumb. I am marketing. I'm doing a great job. Okay? Don't screw this up. Black Friday, Monday, Cyber Monday is coming up. Um, if you like this, check it out. If you don't, I don't care. Just do something. Okay? Thank you, guys. Have a good night.